Hello and welcome uh, to my fifth little video teaching you the absolute basics that I think you need to know if you're going to get the most out of Cubase. Today I'm going to talk about quantizing. So if you don't know anything about quantizing and you're a beginner, don't panic. Hopefully you'll catch up as we go along, but I am expecting most people watching this do know what quantizing is and the basics of how it works. So here's my recording. There we go. So each of those bars represents the events I just played. Now quantizing, firstly, the shortcut is letter Q. Now at the moment, my quantizing is set to eighth notes. These are quavers. Now I happen to know that tune, the theme from The Godfather. I happen to know it's basically all eighth notes quavers. So that's the shortest note. So I've set it on eighth notes. If I hit letter Q, did you see all the notes move there? Control Z. Here we go, letter Q again. So the computer moves it mathematically to the absolute beginning of every beat. In this case, every eighth note beat. Now that's basic quantizing. The shortcut is Q. But if you want to be more creative and control your music in a, well, frankly, a more professional way, you need to delve a little bit deeper. So let's go into the actual part itself. Here's my quantized part. I'm going to control Z that. That's what I actually played. I got close to it. Um, so here's beat number two. And that white line defines the exact start of the beat. So this D is a bit late. And this D is a bit late. Here's beat two. There's the second, sorry, bar two. Here is beat two of bar two, beat three of bar two, beat four of bar two. That's what this grid actually tells you. Now. If I type Control A, I select everything. Let's quantize it again. And there you go. It's all moved to the nearest beat, which sounds very mechanical, perfect for certain styles of drum writing and various keyboard writing. But we don't always want to do that. So let's Control Z that again. The next option to talk about that gives you a bit more control is what's called soft quantizing. That's what they call it. So this is the button that operates the soft quantize on and off here. So it's currently on. And then here are the settings, the quantize panel. Let's have a look. Now then, a little bit intimidating at first, but just spend a minute having a look at it. We're not going to worry about audio warp and things like that at the moment. You could turn on auto quantize if you want, but I personally don't but over to you if you want to experiment with that but let's look at the mode for soft quantize it says 60% so I think you can work out that it's going to apply 60% strictness of quantize so we're going at 60% here we go so now I'm going to do control A and I'm going to quantize again with letter Q but notice the soft quantize is on so if you look very carefully the beats have not gone exactly on the beat they've gone very close so it's a more natural less aggressive harsh kind of quantizing that's it for today i'll leave you to experiment and see if you can get quantizing to sound musical thanks for listening bye bye